Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor. I'm carp fishing today and I'm on a pool that I'm very familiar with and as indeed anywhere we go that we've been before we always have the swim in mind that we want to drop into and then perhaps if that's taken plan B and maybe plan C or whatever. Well can you believe it when I arrived this afternoon every single peg that I had got in mind to fish had already been taken but that's no problem. I dropped somewhere else. Not my first choice by any stretch of the imagination. I'm in a corner, great winter spot, overhanging trees, fish do congregate there, but in the summer they're a little bit more spread out, but they're also more active as well, especially on this pool. And so I've got the rods out, I'm putting some bait out there, trickling it in, getting the fish in to feed, and already I've had the rods out for about 20 minutes or so. There are feeding bubbles, over my baits. So do you know what? I'm confident. As you can see, I'm into a fish here. And this is my left hand rod. And instinctively, of course, oh, it's going for trees. And do you know what? I've just had a hook paw. <laughs> These things happen. As long as I get another bite to the cherry though, everything will be fine, especially if I bank the next one. I'm fishing with boilies and that was one of the better fish from the lake that I just lost. And boilies, I find, always separate the smaller fish from the big ones, especially on a place like this. If I were fishing with maggots, no doubt I would have had lots and lots of fish throughout the day so far. But fishing can be whatever we want it to be to us. And for me, I was soon to sit it out and catch a big one rather than lots and lots of small ones along the way. Anyway, at the moment, I haven't got anything, but hopefully I will get one on the bank. And who knows, probably be a small one, but at least I've set my stall out. Could this be my bite of the cherry that I was just talking about? I'll tell you what, it was on the same rod, the left hand rod, but this time, instead of going towards the trees, it's gone out into open water. And do you know what? that gives me the edge. Although I haven't said that, last time it was a hook pull and I've got to just get away from the bank a little bit now, out into the water to net this. So hopefully next time you see me I'll have a fish. There it is, not a big fish at all. As I was saying, you can't guarantee, can you, what's going to turn up. But I'll tell you something, this will do me because it means I'm not a blanker. Well, at the moment, it's hook pulls two, fish on the bank one, but hopefully I'm about to hit an equaliser. <laughs> it was the left rod again that took off, and I'm into a fish that's kiting around. I'm hoping to steer it out in a moment or two. Obviously, being the summer, a lot more vegetation protruding into the lake, as opposed to the winter when I'm normally on here. But I've got the right sort of gear, I'm equipped for the task and as long as I don't get that dreaded up pull I will have fish number two on the bank any moment. Well indeed I did get it in the net on the bank, the equaliser 2-2 two -two. and as I would say if I was commentating on a game in the Welsh Premier League it's now game on. We've just had a torrential downpour and just as the rain stopped, do you know what? The right rod went off. This is the strawberry jam one. This feels like a better fish. Certainly the best fish of the day so far. Do you know what? I'm just hoping I don't get that dreaded HB up pull because so far the hook pulls are winning 3-2, can you believe it? I never normally get this many. I'm just putting it down to one of those things. Nothing wrong with the hooks, nothing wrong with the rigs. These things just happen sometimes. Anyway, I'm gonna play this fish now and hopefully next time you see me, I'll be cradling it in my arms in front of the camcorder. It's not as big as I thought, they certainly punch above their weight here and there it is another nice common I 
I'm continuing to watch the rods. Got plenty fishing left in me today. But the video comes to an end. Why not check out the written blog? You can find that in the comments box here on YouTube. And go onto my website and there's a little box on there that you can enter your email address in. And every Saturday when I upload a new blog entry, you'll get it straight away. Since I changed the format from not just fishing to other stuff as well, in other words, more of a personal blog, I've been absolutely amazed at the hits I've been getting on the written blog. Now, it used to be popular, very popular, especially Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then it would tail off, of course, by the time Friday came round, because that blog entry has been up there for the best part of a week, and everyone's waiting for the new one to come out on Saturday. But, since I've changed the format, even on Fridays now, I get hundreds of views, hundreds of visitors on my blog. So, why not have a look for yourself and, as I said, subscribe on there as well. I'll be back next week. Out and about yourself, as always, tight lines.